everyone and welcome to Raina Mo's DIY and the Designs and today is day 13 of our Month of Love series. And today, what I wanted to focus on was doing a beautiful floral arrangement. So I don't know if you can see this here in front of me, but I have some hydrangeas, some beautiful bicolor roses, and some little tea spray roses that I picked up from Dollar Tree that are this beautiful blush, perfect blush color, which is the color, one of the colors in my wedding. So I have a vase right here that's empty, and then I have another vase here that has prepared water in it for the the flowers. So I was going to go ahead and put in the water in the vessel and then add in the different things that I wanted to add, but once you add water to the floral beads, they disappear so you don't see them. So I wanted you guys to actually see that. So this tutorial is going to be a little bit of a talk through, but I, I'm you know, I'm going to be doing it and speeding it up in certain spots because floral arrangement is beautiful, but it, it takes time. So having said that, let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is add whatever water beads it is that I want to use and any decorative items that I may want to use because these are some larger vases. So I'm just going to start with adding the water beads. And also keep in mind that after you add water, if they've been in the container for a little while, they may have shrunk in size a little bit. When you add the water, they do grow with the water as well. So I've used one can of the beads, and then I have some heart-shaped table scatter that I got from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to add. And they're going to look like hearts that are floating in midair. It's really beautiful how it turns out. Then I'm going to add, let's see, I think all of these are still sealed. Then I'm going to add some more water beads. Then I'm going to add picked up these hearts from the Dollar Tree. These are just foam hearts and these are paper glitter hearts. So I'm going to add the glitter hearts. Um, I was going to do the foam but then I saw the glitter so I'm going to add the glitter hearts. Just keep in mind that this is only going to be for like a one day um, a one day event because this is cardboard the foam water it can it can tolerate the water much longer than paper can but I'm gonna use this for the look because I know it's just temporary and so what I'm going to do is I want the heart to be like this inside the vessel as a conjoined heart so what I'm gonna do is put a little slit in the top one and just slide it over the bottom yeah and I have my exacto knife here and I'm just gonna put a little slit and cut through the paper or cardboard just enough I'm just going to give it a little bit of a wiggle and then just insert it so they look just like that. Now you can also make this go down further if you like, but for me, I'm okay with, with it just being this far down. I don't want to go too far down because these particular uh, cuts of hearts are asymmetrical and I don't want to take a chance of it getting destroyed faster in the water. So I'm just going to, oops, okay. 
I'm going to add this one here and then the second one. I'm just going to play with that. So we have that like so. Next, I'm going to add a layer of some red diamonds that I got from King Dollar. And then I'm going to add another layer of these water beads. And so I'm just going to be uh, intersplicing the clear water beads with some red favor. Uh, because the next layer will again be the red table hearts, table scatters that are heart shaped, excuse me. And then we'll get into the arranging. I just want to really remind everyone that those hearts are cardboard, okay? So it's a very temporary arrangement, but it is a pr very pretty arrangement in the bowl. Okay. Now as you can see, you can you can't even see the heart that the two glitter hearts that I've placed in here that are cardboard, but they definitely are in the arrangement. Once the water is added, then you'll get to see them. They'll they'll just like magically reappear and it's just so so pretty. Just cleaning up a bit. And I think I'm going to add one more of, no, that'll be enough because once I add the water, they'll float and they'll drink up some of that water. So now on to the floral arranging. Okay, so with the flowers, I'm going to start off with the hydrangeas. They are a very, very beautiful flower. Um, and they provide a lot of coverage. Their foliage is so pretty as well, but they take up a lot of water. So with hydrangeas, if you're going to use the foliage, I would suggest that you use the foliage close to the heads of the uh, hydrangea. And the ones that are lower, go ahead and cut those off. And the stems, of course, you want to cut those down. And so I'm just going to place that in my arrangement where I want it to go. But as I'm arranging this, I'm keeping in mind that I do have that cardboard, those cardboard hearts in there. So I'm going to place them ever so strategically. And I'm going to take off these two. So you can just see how beautiful those heads are. And I've basically just crisscrossed the hydrangeas. And I think two blooms will be enough for this arrangement. So this uh, third bloom, I'll have that set off to the side and I'll end up using that somewhere else. Next, I'm going to go with these beautiful spray roses. Look how gorgeous that is. And I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it's just a hint of blush. And I just thought these were absolutely gorgeous. So you just remove any of the flowers, the uh, leaves that are withered or hanging too low you want to snip the ends of your roses at an angle so that they can feed on the water with the nutrients that i've already placed and so i'm just going to stick these in crisscrossed as well i'm doing this because if i didn't have the floral beads in here 
and it was merely this vase of straight just water if you intertwine the stems then you'll be building a grid that will actually lock the flowers in place so that they're not all at the bottom and everything stays arranged the way that you have placed them so I'm just going to go ahead and finish arranging these blush roses and when we come back I'll show you how it looks be very careful because they do have thorns if you happen to have a stripper that will take the uh, thorns off please by all means do use those uh, and I'm just removing any extra foliage carefully and trimming the ends. Placing them strategically where I want them. Keeping note that there is an object in the center. And I'm just going to continue doing the same thing. And when we come back, I'll show you how it looks. I'm going to add some eucalyptus. I'm using this as my greenery. I've never used eucalyptus before, but I picked it up because it was a nice woodsy long stem, which I thought would look gorgeous with these roses. So all I'm going to do is take a stem, strip it at least where the parts will be underwater. I'm going to get rid of those and then I'm just going to add them to the arrangement and when we come back I'll show you how everything looks. Here is the final look, well almost final look. I've added in the eucalyptus which I really like how it drapes the arrangement and the final step is to add the nutritive water and watch the base of the uh, vase turn from all of this color of red and white bubbles to just clear floating hearts. You can see the heart in there, it's kind of hidden, but look, all of the beautiful red and table scatter and there you can see the glitter heart. Now that's not something that you have to do, I just thought it was a nice step. Maybe if this vase was a little bit taller, you would really be able to see it better. But I think it just turned out gorgeous. If you wanted to add a ribbon to the neck, you definitely could do that or bling wrap or anything else that you may feel that you want to add. I think I am going to tie a bow on this a little bit later before I do the presentation to my boo bear. But on that note, I hope you enjoyed this floral arrangement, floral arrangement tutorial. Please give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, definitely share. I'm more interested in you commenting and you sharing the video with people that are in your circle of family and friends just to teach them something that they may have been wanting to learn and you know thought this was something that they would never be able to do even though they were interested in it. So on that note, have a wonderful evening. Bye everybody.